A suicide bombing kills and injures dozens of people at a busy market in northeastern Nigeria. The attacker is a 12-year-old boy, a pupil of an Islamic school network known as Al Majuri. Forced to beg by day and study by night, Al Majuri children are trapped in poverty, vulnerable to abuse and exploitation. If you can feed them, you can give them money to, 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 to spend whatever you ask them to do, they will do it. Al Majuri schools offer a strict religious education, but at what cost to Nigeria's poorest children? This is the remote town of Yola in Adamawa, northeastern Nigeria, on the banks of the Benue River. Near to the border with Cameroon, it's a place of beauty, rich in culture where Christians and Muslims have coexisted peacefully for centuries. But in recent years, Adamawa has become a battleground, one of three states where Islamic militants Boko Haram are waging a campaign of terror including this suicide bombing of Yola's marketplace in June 2015. 32 people were killed and many injured. Police say a boy aged just 12 walked into the crowds of shoppers and blew himself up. A common sight in Yola and across northern Nigeria, children of Africa's biggest economy living from hand to mouth. The boy at the gate cries out, he who sacrifices himself for God will be rewarded later. Allah is one, al Majri is begging. This is Umar Sali. Like the boy who carried out the deadly attack on Yola's marketplace, Umar is 12 years old. He also goes to an al Majri school. Widespread across northern Nigeria, al Majuri schools teach children the Qur'an and to support themselves by taking to the streets day after day to beg for money and food. There are 7 million al Majuri children like Umar in northern Nigeria. The government refers to them as out-of-school children, meaning they exist outside the conventional education system. Umar's teacher is known as a malam, the head of his school and the enforcer of his strict, relentless 24-hour regimen of survival and study. <laughs> Al Majuri schools have received fierce criticism for forcing children onto the streets to beg. Islam can never approve, you know, Al Majuri, it can never approve of people begging. But what Islam encourages is for people to be self sufficient because the Prophet said it's better for you to go into the bush, cut a tree, and come and sell than for you to be begging people for your needs. Al Majuri schools are also accused of providing recruits for Boko Haram. But Umar's Malam staunchly defends the institution. <laughs> Kuma 
a lokacin din ba hana abun din ba har ya kawo haka kuma abun da ya kawo haka ne rashin abinci wanda za su ciki wanda za su ci ga shi nan abun yana ajiye babu shi shi ne za nearly 100 million nigerians live in absolute poverty earning less than a dollar a day here in the northeast of the country Poverty rates were recorded at more than 75 percent. These Boko Haram peoples, almost 80 percent of them are Almajiris because they need assistance. So it's easy for one to convince them. If you can feed them, you can give them money to spend. Whatever you ask them to do, they will do it. Umar is used to hardship living off the proceeds of begging and putting blind faith in his malam. This is Umar's school. No desks, no books, no walls, no roof. Just a simple clearing shaded by a tree. But when night falls, the air is charged with religious fervor and the voices of hundreds of children reciting the Qur'an from wooden boards called Allah. The children are taught to learn the Qur'an by heart, but they are also taught to fear. If they stop reciting, even for a moment, retribution is swift and violent. Men with whips stand ready to punish the slightest transgression, lashing out indiscriminately. It goes on like this throughout the night in the heat of the fire until the mouths of the children burn with thirst. I was <laughs> able to get the money from the government. I was able to get the money from the government. I was able to get the money from the government. I was able to get the money from the government. Kwa shikin jama, wanda yake karatu, da wanda yake karantarwa, da muta na wanda suke agurin ni, ko da balai zai sauka a gari ba zai sauka a gari din ba. Zamu karatu na, zamu karatu, ma wanda yake muku ma, ni zamu, zamu malami, likita. Umar comes from a village 200 kilometers away in the neighboring state of Taraba. He belongs to a tribe of Muslim cattle herders called Fulani. Today he has traveled back to his village, a rare visit to his family. Umar was 10 when his parents sent him away to study the Quran, like his father before him. Inasaya <laughs> Nigeria's federal government has built new boarding schools like this one especially for Almajiri pupils, but the classrooms are empty. The problem is the feeding. To bring them here is not a problem. But how can you feed them? You cannot call them here and just leave them hungry. You have to feed them. Without food, this school offers an education Almajiri children can't afford. Across northern Nigeria, the problem of child begging remains unsolved, condemning boys like Uma to a daily struggle for survival. <laughs>